Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most popular Windows phones of all time, the Lumia 520, and see if it's still worth buying today. So without further ado, let's get to it. The Lumia 520 was released over five years ago, on April 1st, 2013. It was among the first of Nokia's Windows Phone 8 handsets, launching just after the 820 and the 920. Originally, it was priced at $199. It featured a 4-inch 800x480 IPS LCD display, which was almost unheard of for a budget phone of the time. It also had a 1GHz dual-core Snapdragon S4 SoC and 512 megabytes of RAM. The camera utilizes a 1 quarter inch 5 megapixel sensor sitting behind an f2.4 28mm autofocus lens. Remember, on cheap phones of 2013, autofocus was not a standard feature. And of course we have a headphone jack. Let's start out with what this phone does well. Spotify is still fully supported and it works like a charm even if it does require a bit of patience. So too does the built-in music player. You can't buy music anymore, unfortunately. That service was taken down, but MP3s still work just fine. It does have some trouble displaying album art for me, though. Thanks to Riken Studio's fantastic MyTube app, YouTube playback is also a strong point. Nokia's own mix radio has stopped working, though which is kind of unfortunate. That was one of my first streaming music services, and I really miss it. Skype also doesn't work anymore, but turn-by-turn -turn navigation with the Here Drive app still works like a charm. All of the rest of the basics, things like a calculator, email, weather, etc., also still work fine. The camera is slow, but usable. The pictures it takes well, quite frankly, they suck, but that's kind of to be expected, and I've certainly seen worse. I like the hardware camera button, though. It's kind of a nice addition. When it comes to gaming, the latest AAA titles are simply not going to be available, but I can still manage my empire here just fine. The newest operating system this phone can run is Windows Phone 8.1 Cyan. So some of the niceties of the newer Denim firmware or even Windows 10 Mobile simply aren't available. At the end of the day, this is an old, low-end device running a dead operating system. It really can't do a whole lot, but it only costs about $20 these days, and for that price you're getting a well-built, reliable, time-proven device that covers the very basics. And in my opinion, Windows Phone 8 is still the best-looking smartphone OS, even after all these years. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see what I make next. I'll see you guys next time.